18 years and going strong. Thousands came out to Coolidge Park this morning for the annual Grateful Gobbler Walk and Run. News Channel 9's Catherine Marchand tells us what got people out of bed and onto their feet bright and early. From Santa hats to turkey hats and grape costumes, anything goes at the Grateful Gobbler. I am known as the swag queen. More than 4,000 people signed up for the annual 5K with an early start time. It's a great way to squeeze in a workout before the feasting begins. How much do you plan to eat today? A lot. Jerry Fritz brought her entire family to the race. It's nice just to get out and get some exercise before we get the day going. This year, she and her husband Aubrey are thankful for their health. Cancer free. Aubrey had prostate cancer. He was worried he wouldn't be around for his girls. Now that he's in remission, he wants to show his daughters that it's important to give back with events like the Grateful Gobbler. We have a heart of giving and uh, we, we just like giving and being a part of um, something of a good cause that people who is less fortunate would benefit from our service and so uh, we want to raise our children up like that to be a part of that. The proceeds from the run go to the McClellan Shelter for Families, an emergency homeless shelter in downtown Chattanooga. In different shelters normally families have to be separated by gender so husband and wife show up they have to be separated and this center keeps that family together while they get rehoused. These families lace up their sneakers to help other families get back on their feet. Catherine Marchand, News Channel 9. Since opening in 2014, more than 500 men, women, and children have benefited from the McClellan Shelters programs, which include meals, case management, and job training.